Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jacob. And I'm Luke. And in today's video, we are reviewing Loki Season 2. If you like the sound of that, like and subscribe and find out what happens. Both very, very hyped about it. Summarise it, what happens in the second season of Loki? Well, with season two, basically, he who remains has been defeated by Selvi. And then with season two, Loki is trying to save the timeline because all the timelines are getting destroyed because he who remains has been destroyed. So the job of the TVA is trying to restore the timeline and trying to get everything all okay again we're going through the journey of trying to also stop mess minute and grand slayer as well so interesting season let's see how it stacks up compared to the first so what do you give the plot out of 10 jacob for me this gets a 9.5 i really enjoyed seeing more of the plot and explanation of the TVA and the characters. We get more development of Mess Minute and Ray Slayer as well. Everything is built up from season one and this is more of a thriller trying to stop the villain and trying to save the day. So I gave the plot an eight and I think it was a it was a good plot. I just think it was not it was fairly confusing at times it required several rewatches or a bit of research to fully understand it but i guess that makes it a good plot once you do get to understand it i just deducted a few points because i just thought i didn't quite get all of it at first glance so you've got to pay utmost attention to this show and i felt like maybe because of what happened externally with jonathan majors that maybe they've shortened it to two seasons and it kind of rushed through and we got to see a lot less of what we were expecting to see of him but I could be wrong, but I felt it felt like that. So what do you give the acting out of 10? For me, this gets a 9 with Tom Hilliston, Owen Wilson, and all the others playing their best. Tom Hilliston has been playing Loki for 14 years, and I've enjoyed every moment, and he definitely deserved his own TV show, and I'm glad he's gotten to play this role. This has been a fantastic journey. So I gave the acting an eight. I thought the acting was was really good as well. Obviously, high class actors in it, and yeah, it, it was just good. I don't I don't have anything to pick about it. I just it was what I expected, so it didn't blow me away. So I gave it an eight. What about the presentation of experience? For me, this gets a ten. I really enjoy the different color palettes and the experience with how. For me, this gets a ten. I enjoyed every moment, every second, everything. High had higher stakes, and I wish it we could have a season three, but unfortunately, we're not. But. I would have to say I've enjoyed every moment of the show, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought the presentation was great. I gave it an 8.5. I think it was edited quite well. I liked the way that they did. Most scenes I enjoyed, particularly when they went back in time and we met Victor Timely. I think there was just a lot of cool bits and pieces about it. I did think that the last episode kind of rushed through it a bit with Loki going keep he kept repeating things and going back and he could time slip at choice and I, I would have liked to seen that stretched out a bit more maybe another episode or two but that that was it I just thought it took away the experience because it was just a bit rushed I think we needed maybe episode one more one or two more so what do you give the ending for me this gets a 9.5 I feel satisfied I could tell this is a book to the final journey but I do have to say, I could see where the writers were going to, where Loki was going to have to make the decision. And I feel like they were making you new, they were leading to what choice he was going to make to defeat he who remain. And I would have preferred if they did the other thing, but I'm glad where his journey ended and I'm, I'm, I'm very satisfied with how the Loki show finished. So I gave the ending a 7.5, mainly for what I mentioned before. I thought it was just rushed, the last episode. It was a good episode. I just wanted to see more. 
really did feel that it, uh, they wrapped it up because of what had happened with Jonathan Majors. I think Loki becoming He Who Remains. I don't know if I love that. I think I would have maybe seen or rather seen an alternate Through time. Between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true. Very similar to, I guess, Winning Time, which we recently reviewed. It's hard to review a season two when it was probably only meant to, when it wasn't meant to be a finale, but it seems like it's going to be. Because they've kind of wrapped it up and changed the plans they had. So what do you give the originality? For me, this gets an eight. I really like the science fiction and the timey-wimey things, but we have seen that in Rick and Morty in different projects, but in the MCU, it's very original, and this is brought to life and made me excited to be an MCU fan again compared to the Marvels. So I gave the originality a 9.5. I think this was the best part of it. I think, yes, we've seen a lot of timelines and multiverses. It seems to be the biggest thing at the moment in any type of show or movie, and... They did it a bit differently in this. I liked it, like the idea of the TVA. I liked it. Who we thought was, we didn't quite know who the villain was in the beginning, what was going on. But this is referring to the first season. Uh, but then we get grow to then like the villain and then question whether he is the bad guy. And still at the end, we, we don't even know. And we see where Loki stands. And is Loki now, like, now that he's got the crown, is he going to be a villain? I, I like that it got us thinking and questioning quite a bit. And the fact that it's an awesome side story that doesn't impact the rest of the MCU. It obviously can, but at the end of the day, if Loki restored the timelines, we don't have to see any effects in any of the movies or future projects because he did it in the background and he saved the day. He was the, the hero that people don't know exists. So I think that makes it quite cool and original and it's sad to see that all oh, potentially may not have another season because it, it was cool in a way that it can be epic but not be impactful unless they want it to be. So I like that. But what do you give the appeal? For me, this gets a nine. I know this show isn't for everyone and that's why it doesn't get a perfect score. But I think if you gave it a chance, you would go, this is high quality TV that you need to watch. And even if you haven't watched Marvel before, out of all the shows, this is the one that you could get invested in. And that's why I think it has a draw card that it has appeal because it has a bra breathtaking story. It has a fantastic cast. It brings a lot to the table. So for me, it has a draw card appeal because it has a story it has everything to it what other shows might be more simplistic but they don't have wow factor to it so to me I, that's why it gets an R. so i give the appeal a six i think kind of the opposite to jacob i think being epic and having all these things it's only epic if you know they're epic i think to the average person if i was to show it to them and they've not seen other things mcu they'd be like i don't care this makes no sense to me it's not interesting so I think you have to already like the MCU to find it epic. So I've given it a six for that because I think it's actually really confusing and complex and I think your average person that isn't already invested won't care and won't watch beyond the first episode because they'll go, well, that's cool. Who was he who remains? And Loki, so be it. And uh, that's nice. Owen Wilson's in the show. Like, I don't think it appeals to people that don't already find it appealing. So what do you give the recommendability? For me, this gets a nine. I think it's Disney's plus best show. I think it has a lot of momentum to it. And if I had to say one show for you to stream on Disney plus, it's, it's Loki. I think it has a beginning, middle and end and you need to at least be open-minded and give it a watch. Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone, and that's why it doesn't get a perfect 10. And it's least worth watching, because if you're into sci-fi and science fiction and time travelling, it's a fantastic show for those sort of people. But I know not everyone's going to enjoy it. So for recommendability, I gave it a 6, very similar to its appeal. I'd find it hard to give this suggestion to someone that wasn't already into the MCU, I think they would go, well, why have you put me onto the most confusing show ever? I don't know who these characters are. Where There's a lot of other things out there that I can go, watch this, you'll laugh at it, you'll find it interesting. 
do I need to know anything? Nah, just watch it, it'll be okay. Where this, it's like, go and watch this long list of movies first and get to understand these characters and then you can watch it. So I, I don't agree that it has a start, middle and end because its start was like 10 movies ago. So, you know, it's you've got to watch those first. So I, um, I gave it a six. So what do you give it in terms of rewatchability? This gets a 10 for me. I like the whole book analogy with that it had a beginning, middle and end and that's very much true because we got a conclusion with his storyline with how you can watch season one it ended in such a twist way that we were wanting a season two and with season two ending you kind of go well how can they do a season three and even though I want a season three it ended with such a conclusion way and fulfillment that the only possible way of moving forward with Loki is having him in movies and cameos and different things like that. So you can tell this was a planned project, unlike the Marvels and other things like that, that I'm definitely going to re-watch it to get that experience from middle to end. So in terms of rewatchability, I actually gave a 9.5, which is the equal highest mark with originality. I think it is rewatchable for fans. I think I think I need to rewatch it to fully understand what's going on with some of it. So yeah, it is definitely rewatchable if you already liked it. So, it... what's your total score? This gets a, the highest score for a TV show, 93%. I think it's a high caliber show. Acting, plot, substance, it has so much going for it. And even though I'd love there to be a season three, I think it would be a little bit too much. Even though they could do a other book, it would feel like they're just being cash grab for the sake of it. So I'm happy that we are only getting two seasons because there's a conclusion to it. And I I would recommend least giving the first episode a go because out of all the episodes that we have watched, I still personally think that first episode, the mystery to it, is the best episode of the show because it get, gets you wondering what, what is going on, what is the TVA, what, what, what is this show? And once you get past it, you go, yep, yeah, I mean, it you. has me hooked. It was perfect. So I would recommend watching it perfect. and yeah, Everything. best Down show of 2023. Minute details. So I gave it 79%. I think it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. I do still think it was, it's going to be in the top five shows for this year for me. I just ultimately, it lost its most points in terms of its appeal and recommendability just because being realistic, I think it's hard to suggest it to people that aren't already heavily invested. But ignoring those as someone that is invested, I think it was really, really good. And as I said, really original. I like the fact that it doesn't, it ties into the rest of the movies, but it ultimately doesn't have to affect them. We could never revisit this story if we don't have to, and we just go, you know what, Loki saved the day, and because of him, the rest of the multiverse is intact, and that's actually really, really cool, or we can explore it more if we want to. So I like that touch to it. Yes, as always, comment down your thoughts. Do you agree with me that it's the best show of the year, or do you agree with Luke that it's fine, but it won't appeal to everyone. Be very curious to know. As always, like and subscribe. There's videos at the end. And as always, you're awesome. Keep being awesome and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.